Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this is a just for fun tutorial how to sculpt a sack. So, this is my workflow. So, on Facebook, there was a, there was a question about um, how to model a sack. So, something like this here. And so, I checked the answers, and here. Um, yeah, the try try planner or start with a sphere and gizmo and so on and so here are references for such uh, burlap burlap sacks um, maybe such a sack or such a, a sack so like you want so in fact the lower the poly count, the it's much more easy to sculpt such objects. This is, um, yeah, so my workflow is, um, in fact, it's um, a sack is nothing else like a lathe object here. So I add a lathe object. And so at the bottom, you find here the option to activate the wireframe and then you see here your topology. And here in the submenu of the lathe object here, you find the option to change the divisions. So for a sec, maybe I need only a division of 12. And here the link option here, uncheck it. And then so for the Y division, maybe 11 or 12, yeah, something like this. And then start here at the top and create roughly the, the shape of the, the sack. Something here like this. And yeah, I think this is okay. So to start, then validate the object here like this. On the side menu, you find here the move tool. And here, symmetry is at the moment active. Uh, I turn it off. So you need a bigger brush radius like this. So here you can uh, sculpt here on the sack. This is now sculpting. So, and here in the side view, I squeeze it here a little bit. So, and here, yeah, sorry, I have to go um, a step back. This is an important thing here. Um, here at the top you find here um, the caps for the whole thing. So you only need the bottom here like this. And then you can look inside your sack. <laughs> so um, and you see here the red color, this is only a single sided um, mesh. So it's much easier to sculpt with this. So and then press here validate. So symmetry off. And side view. Okay. And now this part. For some things, I think it's also possible to use here the, the radial um, symmetry um, to sculpt here. Um, then you can squeeze it here a little bit and turn it off again.
so smaller radius and you can yeah um, move here every vertex uh, like you want so and when you need more topology here you find here the in the topology menu the multi-res uh, section here and give it more topology with subdivision so subdivide it once more like this and I only use the move the move brush so at the moment yeah So you see the workflow. As I said, this is my workflow. <laughs> you can do it also uh, other way. So I give it more topology and then um, now sculpting. And uh, we can use the crease tool here and create folds. And again, more topology. So now maybe clay. So, okay. So when you're happy with your with this thing here, um, you can use here the mask, tap on, on the screen and then extract the mesh. You see here the mesh extraction with a, um, with a height, so something here like this. And then your sack is complete. So I don't sculpt here the rope around the thing. It's only about the sack itself. So um, yeah, I hope you get the idea how it could work. So that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.